This is All India Radio Shalom, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Arundhati Paul. The World Health Organization has characterized the new coronavirus outbreak as a pandemic. WHO Chief Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus told reporters in Geneva that he is alarmed by the spread and severity of the outbreak, along with a lack of action taken to combat it. He said, WHO has never seen a pandemic sparked by a coronavirus. UN Chief Antonio Guterres has urged world governments to urgently scale up their response to the novel coronavirus if they are to stand a chance of stemming its spread. Meanwhile, the centre has suspended all tourist visas till April 15th in a bid to contain spread of novel coronavirus. The suspension will come into effect from March 13th at the port of departure. The decision was taken at the sixth meeting of group of ministers held in New Delhi under the chairmanship of Union Health Minister Harsh Vardhan. In Meghalaya, a 38-year-old man who was admitted to a hospital's isolation ward for suspected COVID-19 infection has been tested negative. The samples collected from him were sent to Kolkata-based ICMR and the results were negative, the Meghalaya government said in a statement yesterday. The man had returned to the state from Delhi on Sunday and was admitted at the Northeastern Indira Gandhi Institute of Health and Medical Sciences as he had fever and cough. The district administration has asked people not to panic and stay calm and strictly follow the state health department's advisory. In Mizoram, 11 people, including a few women, have been arrested for allegedly spreading fake news on social media that a novel coronavirus infected person was detected in the state. Mizoram Inspector General of Police John Nehililia said the 11 persons were arrested after police registered a Suomoto case against them. All the accused were released on bail. The fake news shared on WhatsApp claimed that a Singapore returnee with suspected coronavirus symptoms were put under isolation at home after she refused to be quarantined at the Zoram Medical College. The woman was screened twice, first at Kolkata Airport and again at Lengpu Airport upon her return to the country and did not show any symptom of the disease. Meanwhile, the Mizoram government yesterday formally sealed the state's borders with neighboring countries and states, barring a few entry and exit points to prevent the spread of novel coronavirus. The decision was taken at a meeting convened by Chief Minister Zoram Thanga. The Arunachal Pradesh government has suspended issuing a protected area permit to foreigners amid coronavirus care. With this, foreign tourists will not be able to enter the state. Integrated Disease Surveillance Program State Surveillance Officer Dr. L. Jampa has informed that two persons from the state with recent travel history to COVID-19 affected countries are under home isolation and are reported to be asymptomatic. He said as per the list of passengers shared by the central government, Eight others having travel history to affected countries are also asymptomatic and tracking process for the other two is in progress. In Assam, the BGP will fight alone in the Bodoland Territorial Council election. The election will be held on the 4th of next month in 40 seats. The decision was taken in a party meeting held at Goreshwar yesterday. Assam BGP President Ranjit Kumar Das said the party has decided to fight the polls alone and the number of seats where the party will fight is yet to be decided. Reacting to this development, General Secretary of the Borderland People's Front, Emmanuel Mushahare, said this would not affect the alliance of the BJP and Borderland People's Front. He said that the BJP may try to get certain seats in non bodo areas. The Borderland People's Front is the alliance partner of the ruling BJP in the state. In Sikkim, the State Transport Department has checked almost 20,000 vehicles so far during an awareness come enforcement drive being carried out by the State Transport Department. During the three-month drive, which began on January 6th, the vehicles were issued stickers with the word checked written on them by the Motor Vehicles Division of the Department. Mobile checking of vehicles is being conducted at various places, including check posts throughout the state. Registration certificates of vehicles with forged signatures were also detected. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin from All India Radio Shillong. Have a nice day.